amazing crochet family i am your one and your only lady of crochet lady simone and we are back with another video yes 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 as y'all can see from the thumbnail below we are getting prepared y'all for an event that i have in october and it is similar to like a market like so this will show i want to like journal my process or like take y'all on a journey um with me for the process of me going to this event now the event is an event in my hometown that they have every year and it's kind it's like um they have different vendors set up and it's a beautiful event someone reached out to my cousin and was like hey i wonder would she be interested in coming to the event and i'm like what yes i was so excited i don't think no one understand how excited i was because i've been talking about the possibility of doing markets for a long time i've been talking um with my family i'm like i think i should get into some markets here and do some market makes you know i think it'll be a cool thing so for someone to reach out for an event i was just like ecstatic like yes because I did a vending event before and it turned out really good. It was my very first vending event. And of course, there were things that I learned. I like that first time around. It's always that one time where you're like, okay, I should have did this a little different. This turned out good. But, you know, you got to also think about, you know, where what kind of adventure you're going to. And you have to think about who's going to be there and some of the things that they like in the area. And I did not take none of that in consideration, y'all. I was just like, listen, crocheting. <laughs> it was like a lot of things that I really had liked or a lot of things that were popular at the time. So one thing that I'm going to do for this event that I have coming up in October is I'm very mindful of the season. I'm very mindful of the environment, the people, you know, the things that they like and even the event, you know, so I'm taking all of that into consideration. And one thing that I wanted to do is make sure that I have a variety of great price range of things, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't want things to, one, just some things that are already crochet that could be bigger items, we know they're gonna cost a little more. So this journey that I'm going to take y'all on with me, getting prepared for my October event, would be more so showing you the patterns that I have found that I feel fit perfectly into the mix when it comes down to me preparing for this event. The first pattern that I'm gonna talk about today, y'all, is by Knott's Mary Yarns. And she is on Instagram. That's where I saw her at when I first saw her and how I got introduced to her patterns was through Instagram. I believe she has a TikTok and I buy her patterns off of etsy so i'm going to put everything like in the description below and i will let her name scroll across the screen y'all when i tell you easy 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 pattern i fell in love instantly i'm gonna show y'all this pattern right here is the chunky cat pattern that she has now i have done another pattern by her it is the ghost pattern i did that prior to learning that i was going to do the event because then it clicked to me too because it's in october do around halloween time i think i'll make a couple of more ghosts to take with me the ghost that i had um i had it in my tick i think i had in some shorts um videos as well i wish i can't pull it down because it's all the way on my top shelf but i um did a couple of those ghosts that were holding the baskets so thinking about it, i was just like i may make a couple of more of those items as well but her patterns are super easy and when you find someone that has create great patterns you tend to kind of go back because the flow of things are so easy i like simplicity and one thing that makes a pattern click for me and y'all can let me know in the description i mean in the comments if y'all are the same way but if i can rememberize a pattern after like the second time it's like listen i know that is going to be a pattern for life for me and that's how this pattern is i love quick patterns easy patterns and i love when i make something to turn out so cute like the pictures it's like awesome so this is her chunky i believe it's called the chunky kitty pattern if i'm not mistaken and it is so quick to make i made i got up early in the morning and i made like five of these y'all i'm gonna show y'all i made this little gray one 
this um what color is this <laughs> yeah i'm sorry this little like what what it what what's the, i don't want to say that. is it like coral i guess i'll say coral like this coral little color i think this one is so cute then i made a yellow one so so cute when i say it's cute and quick to make y'all listen then i made another gray one look at that and then you just she have it to wear that i'm taking off the yarn i'm gonna talk to y'all about that too um but <clears throat> this right here the tail in a way she have it in the pattern where you can put the tail going up or you can have it going to the side I just chose to do the five I made going up. I may do five going to the side because I'm only going to do a couple of more of these. This is the last one that I made, y'all, one of my favorite ones because I used like a hobby yarn I had left over in my stash. I think it turned out so, so cute, y'all. When I say this is a great, great pattern, if you're into like having to do a market or wanting to make multiple items, I'm telling you, this pattern is the pattern that you want to get but what i was going to talk to y'all about is that i do want to purchase some more yarn because i am obsessed with um joanne's big twist posh love that yarn when it had got um i think it was out of stock um it, it came out then it went out of stock for a while and i was just up in a like i want a yarn that's similar so i ordered some yarn do ice yarn and y'all that yarn is not the same it sheds so bad and i think i'm gonna show y'all i think it was the yellow one but it turns out so cute it's kind of remind me of parfait chunky but that yarn is good too it sheds a little bit but not as much as this one but it still turns out really cute but the shedding is like annoying and then trying to pull it from the magic circle y'all <sniffs> i think i had to start like three different times <laughs> three different times but we got it and i think it still turned out really cute and it looks one thing i all um i was paying attention to is how stable it looks because i know these may go to some little kids that may purchase these their parents and i want to make sure that they're sturdy the yarn is it's not won't break easy and stuff like that and the only thing I can say is the shedding is and, but it still makes a great quality cat. So I like that. But anyways, I am going to go through my stash and use the yarn that I have in my stash first, y'all. Instead of just going on a whim and just purchasing more um, Big Twist Posh. Now, I'm going to purchase some more Big Twist Posh. <laughs> But I feel like the most responsible things to do in this moment, especially getting prepared for this market um, and this event, is to use what I already have. And this is a prime example. I only could have got one little kitty, but I have some more like scrap yarn, so they may get a scrap kitty. And this kitty pattern is the first one that I am going to be working on for the market. So y'all take this journey. I'm going to create more videos to talk about what other patterns that i found that was quick and easy to make and we have until october so y'all there's gonna be a couple more videos i know i usually do my um granny square fridays monday what's in my crochet bag but y'all i'm really gonna go in and focus on this market and this event because i really want this to be one of like this is my second event so this gotta be the best so i'm excited about that now ah uh, i'm trying to think if that was all i wanted to share with y'all i think so so yeah it was all just the kitties this in this round i call it this round we're gonna it's like we're <laughs> like it's a fight battle or something but yeah in this round this is the only one that i wanted to show the next one i'll tell y'all about what pattern i chose next and what i'm looking for are patterns that i can quickly make that are easy to make and that'll make small like small sizes that i could put a smaller price tag on so even if y'all know any more patterns like that please put it down in the description below help your girl out i have a list of like i think i have like eight other patterns that i'm going to do and i'm thinking about eight to ten of each of the patterns that i'm going to do on top of all the other stuff that i have is what i'm going to take with me to the event but with that being said y'all i thank y'all so much for watching this video let me know if you ever did a market or an event 
and let me know how it went for y'all what are some things that you learned what are some things that you'd be like uh i would have did this differently or like tell me what was your best selling item or what was the thing that you were like listen from this point on i'm doing markets like i'm, I'm in this day <laughs> So just talk to me in the comments below. I'm excited to talk to y'all. Thank y'all for being the best part of this crochet journey with me. Thank y'all for being the best part of my crochet family. And as always, y'all, I say don't forget that I am your one and your only Lady of Crochet, Lady Simone. And I will see you next time.